And we're back. Let's fight this boss and save Armor Road. Ew. Hello. Hello, Mr. Allmouth. Alright, let's start off with our, uh... Our normal opening gambit of things. And just, uh, see what happens. That's annoying. Really wish you weren't doing that, but ultimately this isn't anything super dangerous, all things considered. Because I can just unbind, so do whatever. It'll largely be whatever. Or... Oh. Oh, you don't take physical damage, huh? Mm, well, that's, that's upsetting. A lot of, there was a lot of health you just, uh, you just fixed. Alright, um... I guess just go to charge. And we will figure out how best to do this. Let's see what Meteor does. Just, just out of curiosity. And let's go ahead and Shock Arms Cure. Let's, let's see how this works. Oh, this doesn't work either. Okay, so... Meteor is not as useful as, uh... Initial... Oh, just everything is bound. Alright, cool. Okay. Uh, that... Uh, just attack, I guess, since you can't... You also just attack, I suppose. Cool. Uh, we can unbind, though. Unbind will be fine. And just armor piercer, I guess. Cool, I'm glad that we're still dealing damage. Well, Kira's dealing damage now. That's that's fine. I really don't like that he just keeps healing like this. This is very annoying. I don't think I have anything that'll stop him from doing that. I'd like to stun you because I as I want a second to think. Yeah, that's not nearly enough damage to uh, take this thing down. Let me go look up tactics on this, and I'll see what I'm doing wrong. And we will be right back after that, whether we're back in Armor Road or otherwise. So give me one second, everybody. Alright, we're back. So, I learned a little bit about Mr. Anemone. Uh, as we've already noticed, physical attacks do nothing, and his, uh, his obnoxious uh, suck power... That's all I can call it, is suck power, and that's really horrible to be calling it that is going to be the biggest thorn on our side, because he will regenerate HP excessively. Um, and I don't think I, I have Bash Mask. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Mm. Alright, so unfortunately I don't have enough... Um, I don't have the items to do this properly, unfortunately. Um, and my party setup is uh, sketchy at best here. Um, I can just keep trying, see if this, uh, see if we can get him. But the odds of me actually succeeding are very, very low right now. I, mean, I don't need you to do that, actually. You can... Uh, he was stunned last turn. Alright. So, we'll just shock arms again. And we're actually going to go after, uh, Volt Barrage because he is weak to elements. Very cool. Maybe I can... Maybe, 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 maybe I can just, like, stun abuse him. Says maybe. Who knows.
Tentacle Reap. That's his, that, that, that's his other annoying ability. It has a chance of causing instant death. Isn't that fun? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll do that, I suppose. Let's see. Can I beat the anemone with with a subpar party? Cool. Oh, her arms have been sealed. That's unfortunate. Um, well, we need to Ouroboros guard this time, because, uh, otherwise he'll just continue to nonsense us, and nobody wants that. And since he didn't actually hurt us, he doesn't get the HP heal. Would you look at that? He's still a bastard. But, uh... Oh, I didn't actually unbind. Oopsies. Eh, I guess it is. It's insanely annoying that you just do that. I may need to go set up a different party for this. Something I haven't wanted to do this entire Let's Play. But I may have to set up another party. Because Anemone is something I don't know if I can actually handle. Yeah, I don't think we can actually beat this. <laughs> we're 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 gonna be beating him up for a while without this actually working. So let me go and get a correct party set up, a more correct party set up, and we will be back to fight the anemone again. And I'll introduce you to my new characters that are gonna be in the in, in the guild and in the party. So one second, everybody, and we'll be right back after I go grind for a thousand years. And we're back. So, as you can see, what, as you can see by the sidebars, our party is a little bit different. We now have Ko, Rain, Sahoni, Lemus, and Steven. Steven is a new member of the guild, and Lemus has uh, been around for a while, but never got to see any action until just now. Take a look at them. They are zodiacs. Look at them. They have 98 technique. Both of them do. It's insanely helpful. Their gear is the same. Their brilliance book is enchanted with tech up four, and they have their armor and whatever. So there we go. That's that's them. Now their builds. Their builds are gonna. I need to actually do my limits real quick. I only have lucky hammer, so and that's not even gonna be very helpful for this. Um. I'm actually kind of cool with this being a thing. No, hold on. Yeah, hold on, sorry, I'm doing this really quick. Let's do one of them, and then, like, KO. And then, like, Typhoon Bolt will be, like, Steven and Rain. Uh, uh, Lucky Hammer, Sahoni, why not? Perfect, good enough. Okay, so, let's take a look at their builds real quick. 
Now, Remus actually has three more skill points that I have no idea what to put into. Um, we'll do Etheric Return for two, and... Man, I don't know. Horoscope, perfect. So, uh, Lemus and Steven, actually, have Ether Mastery, which raises their elemental damage, uh, which gives them elemental damage boost. Uh, Lemus is a Fire Master, though, so that's something to take note of. We have Singularity, which does which does as it says. Uh, you, you deal more damage when using when, when targeting uh, an enemy's weakness with a the spell. Their return gives you some TP every time you kill every time you kill something. Fire Star is the basic fire attack; it's a single target thing. Binary Fire is the is the all enemy target, and then Fire Prophecy is something to talk about because you know Ko's anti fire. This is that, except it also throws Binary Fire afterward. It's if you get into a situation which has that. Uh, we also have Etheric Charge, which is basically the same thing as Charge, but for magic. Uh, Dark Aether, because we had to have it. And one point of hor Horoscope, because why not? Now, this is the situation that I had. I didn't know what subclass to use for these guys. And I found something that made me tilt my head and say, will this work? Turns out it does. So we miss we, we miss has is, is, uh, we miss first is an arbalist as his uh, as his secondary thing. He has seven points of volt mastery. That sounds excessive for not using a crossbow. He also has heavy shot front mortar, an armor piercer. But this is the thing that I needed. I wanted to have out of this class. Double action. When skills use when, when skills targeting one enemy trigger, they may trigger mul m m multiple times. Take a guess at what fire star is. It's a skill that targets one person. It's real good. He also has HP up 10. Now, Steven's the same, except he has Volt Mastery, so take everything that Lemus has, except make it, you know, lightning. That's all. Uh, Steven's also an Arbalist, same build, all of a sudden, yeah, blah, 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 blah. They're, they're the same character, just one is fire, one is electricity. It's, it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and try this again, shall we? And now that I can do elemental damage, this should actually be, uh, much, much easier. Uh, we're still going to Bushin, because we still need to Bushin. We're still gonna party heal. Uh, Ether Charge. You go ahead and throw Typhoon Bolt, and then Ether Charge. Jesus. Alright, well, that was unexpected. I thought that would work, I didn't think it would work that well. It's Dark Aether with the back line, and then you just throw a Kaganui because uh, you need to do that. You need to unbind the party, and you two are just gonna start unloading because we need to deal as much damage as we possibly can. See how dumb this is? See how absolutely stupid this is? It's so good. And to answer the question, but Rain, why did you why, why did you target the back line with uh, with with uh, with line guard? That's why. Because Rain and Rain clone and also KO have pretty good ability to avoid damage. The back line not so much. So we're just gonna keep protecting the back line. See how much easier this is now that we have, like, a plan that's actually, like, being useful? Aha, his legs are bound. I don't know if this does anything to an enemy, but his legs are bound. But chow But chow That is fine, actually. 100% okay with that being what you, what you choose to do with your turn. That is fine. Goodbye, Anemone. Huzzah. <clears throat> Your weapon thrusts into these in, thrusts into the sea anemone's anemone's vital area. Yeah, our weapon, sure, why not? And it convulses in agony. As its massive form goes limp, you take a deep breath in celebration. The request is now complete. Hurry back to the bar to to, to, 
to report your victory. Good job, everybody. This is not the party that I will be using is more than I have to. Because it's strange and I don't like it. Then again, that's just sort of my relationship with the Zodiac and kind of all magic classes in Atria. I don't really care for them. And it's because they're so dependent on TP, because I'm just going to show you what their, what their TP costs are. Uh, it costs 35 to do, it, uh, to do a target all spell. It costs 22 to cast a single target spell. It's so, it's, it's so expensive. Even with, like, even with all of the H, uh, e even with all of the TP, uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, the TP reduction, Meteor still costs 51. It's an insanely expensive thing to do. Now, at this point in the game where I can Dark Aether and get free TP for forever and ever, it's not that big a deal, but... Yeah, that's why I don't use Zodiacs. Like, at all. Well, let's go ahead and report the completed quest, because the Anemone was a bitch. And that's what happens when you're a bitch. Hi, kitten. I won. Yeah. Very cool. It's also the livelihood of our entire town. I mean, why not, right? Sweet. Cool. So now we only have these two last, last quests to do. Uh, we'll probably do that next time. Because I think we've already... Hmm. I don't know if that's any good or not. They do have all these, all these little bits from things that I found along the way. Let's see. Let's see. It's a uh, curse weapon. 183. What's the... Basil... Oh, it's actually, it's actually strong, str stronger than the Basilisk. Hmm. Neat. This may actually be the best bow, if not one of the best bows, but that's that's neat. We will worry about that later, and I forgot to buy an, an, an Ariadne thread. Let's let's make sure I do that, because the last thing I want is to forget to do that. But that's it. I hope you guys had fun, and I will see you next time with Multiple you trust, you trust Through the Drowned City, where we will go back into the, into the labyrinth and do some other stuff the last couple side quests, and then we can go and try to fight the final, the final secret super boss of super ultimate coolness. But hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you next time. Until then, until then, okay?